All right, so welcome back. We are officially starting episode two now. Um, I'm excited to see how my decisions from the first game actually, uh, what you call it, actually influence the game. I mean, yeah. I'm excited. That scared the crap out of me. Holy. No. So you know what? No. Here's what we'll do. See if we can do this. Yes. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, so I know a little bit about what to do since I started episode 2 before, but now this one is actually going to, uh... M my decisions from the episode 1 matter now, so I'm happy. And hey, developers, uh, now I'm not gonna cut out your credits, I'm sorry. I realize I did that with episode 1, so... Yeah. Slap. That was more than a slap, that was an axe to the head. Who's this dude? I forget. Mark? Damn. Or something? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but... I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. No, he's not. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? I have no idea. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He does. Laid me out flat, man. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with exactly. him. Exactly. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Go for the knees. Those super tall dudes, six foot seven, whatevers. Go for the knees. 
I took down a six foot six guy before when I was like 12 years old. I must have been, well, not 12, maybe like eight. I was, must be four foot nothing. Just grabbed him by the waist and threw him down. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. No, it wasn't. But I won't spoil it for you all. Because I, I know this first part. I know all the way up to the farm. And when people are shooting arrows at you. But that's all I'm going to say. After that, it will be a blind let's play. Run. Run, Lee. And whatever your name is, Mark. Look at you, same Bolt here. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut, shut up. up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm just doing, too. Come on. Get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. All right, we'll help. Hurry, please, hurry. Come Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. What? No release latch? No, that still gets me every time. Come on, let me do something. Let me try to get this dude out. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Come on. Do I'm ready. Out. My body is ready. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Try to get the chain. <laughs> Try and cut the chain. What are you talking about, son? Let's go. Let's go. I'm doing it. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> it's gross. It still grosses me out. Oh, there. That would. That would literally suck. Oh, come on. I can do it. Direct swift cuts every single time. Shit. Is he... He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. It was the only choice we could make. What would it was he... What were we supposed to do? Damn. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, look at Travis here. Oop, derp, I'm just gonna fall down and I'm not gonna try and get up. I'm gonna let the zombies come to me and ah, get eaten, Travis. too somber. Everyone's so sad. Why? What? What you looking at? It's no walker. Actually, S. Dolan. <laughs> She's pondering. 
She's pondering. And look at Asshole Larry. That's his name from now on, I swear. Asshole Larry. Until the day he dies. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. Yes, we are. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. Yes. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And, and I thought Lee was that getting it in last episode. Come on. Um, no? Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. No, it's a dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. Look, they're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. Okay. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Fucking asshole, Larry, I swear. I'm gonna punch him in his face the chance I get. Look, I can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. Oh, man. That's all you giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. Okay. Well, that's a difference. I'll explain to you why I chose Lily in the next part. Uh, but it seems like, look at, they're all looking at me with sad puppy dog eyes, even asshole Larry. Oh, man. <laughs> look at Kenny. He's looking at me, too. They're all looking at me. Oh, this is crazy. Puppy dog eyes. Oh, who can I give food to? Yeah, so in the next part, I'll explain why I chose to side with Lily, and I'll see you all next time.